This is an instructional video on how to gauge a Stelvin 1680 finish. We're going to be using a combo gauge that measures the E min and max, the T min and max, the A min and max, and the D min and max. We're going to start out with the E min and max. It has a cutout here for the max and a cutout here for the min. Normally when you use this gauge, you'll be gauging the bottle standing up, for, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to lay the bottle down. You're going to start out at the top of the finish and you're going to rotate the bottle through the gauge all the way through the threads to the bead. The max should go all the way through, the min should not. Next is the T min and max. As you're rotating the bottle through the min, it should not go over the finish. The max should go over the threads, but not over the bead. A min and max, again, as you're rotating the bottle, the A min should not go over. The A max should go all the way over. D min and max, the D should go under the bead. The D min should not. Next gauge is the K gauge, which measures the neck. K min gauge, as you're rotating the bottle, should not go over the neck. K max, as you're rotating the bottle, should. This is an instructional video on how to gauge wine bottles. This first combo gauge checks the levelness of the finish at the top and the roundness of the bottle in the mid sidewall. The next gauge is a leaner gauge. This gauge, the bottle is rotated. The finish should touch both sides if it's a leaner. It's also helpful to see bent necks so that they can be reported in the hot end. Most plants have the leaner gauge that has the point. This gauge is a height gauge. The bottle should pass under to not be over height and not pass under this bar to be under height. You need to rotate the bottle to see that the entire finish doesn't go under. The next gauges are handheld go no go gauges. We'll start with the E max gauge. It should go on the top of the finish, but not over the bead. The next gauge is a T max gauge. It should go over the bead. Cork lock gauge. 710 should go in, 750 at the top cutout should not. Cork lock gauge, this gauge is put inside the finish. The bottle is rotated. The, the gauge can stand up straight, but if it stands up straight, the line indicated on the cork lock gauge should not come above the top of the ceiling surface. Sink bulge gauge, it has a 15 thousandths cut in and a 15 thousandths cut out. This one, the entire label panel of the bottle is checked. The gauge should rock at all spots. The bulge gauge with the cut in should pass over the entire label panel and not rock. And lastly, the body max. This gauge should pass completely over the bottle, 